Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. He blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. And sanctified it. So in order to continuously keep a Sabbath on the seventh day, it has to be consecutive. Bring it out. You understand? So there must be a consecutive first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day of the week. Then you go to the seventh day, which is hollow, and you're supposed to rest. Right. Now, if you was to base it off the new moon, it would be impossible. Because the new moon doesn't always land on a consecutive same day. See? This. And I'm going to show you what the problem with that is. I'm going to show you why this is very important. Romans chapter 2. Romans 2. I believe it's verse 13 or verse 11. It's very important that you don't be misinformed. You want to be as much as informed as possible. You understand? You got it? The book of Romans chapter 2 verse 12. For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. So if you don't are unaware of certain commandments or how to be righteous in certain cases god said you still gonna perish without it right so it's highly important that you become informed do you want to be as much informed as possible that way that you can guide your house as out. possible right. read right. it again for as many as have sinned without law so just as many that have sinned without law even those that may never hear this information God says what? Although you sin with unknowingly, come on, shall also perish without law. You still gonna die. But read on. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. You're gonna be judged by the law. So it would behoove you to get around men that teach God law so that you can be as much and most informed to save your soul, That's to deliver your soul, and ultimately deliver your family's soul. Why? Because Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 20. Ezekiel 14 and 20, then we're going to deal with the Sabbath. Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 20. And I pray that, Messiah, you listening and paying attention, and I pray that you come paying attention as well. Okay, how long you know you was an Israelite, Messiah? You're not sure. You're not sure. Okay. So we have a school on the west side of Chicago. I implore you to come and visit us on Saturday. Our doors open up at 10 a.m. Our address is right there on the back of that flyer. All right. Come and check us out and, and get with a body of people. Give us a call. All right. Give us a call first, but come and check us out and get with them and fill us out. Okay. What's up? Question. So you saying the Sabbath can only be on a Saturday? Saturday, the Sabbath is from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Yes, I'm gonna touch on that right after this. Watch this. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 20. Bring it out. Though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it. Talking about what? The truth. They were in this world and they were tried through this world and they had to overcome. Okay, come on. As I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. See that? So the Bible says that you can, everybody, even though that you have a family and your job is to guide your family, you can only, every man can only deliver their own souls by their righteousness. So what we behoove you to understand all the commandments of God as expertly as possible, that way that you can save your soul and potentially save your family, those that you are guiding and teaching. Now, dealing with the Sabbath, right? Give me Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. To Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Because there are multiple Sabbaths, right? There's multiple Sabbaths. The new moon is a Sabbath. The uh, Passover is a Sabbath. Okay? The first and the last day of Feast of Tabernacles is our Sabbaths. Passover, the first and last day of Passover, those are Sabbaths, right? 
but there is also a seven day Sabbath. Right. You understand? What, how do you follow that? If you, if you, what calendar are you going off of? I'm going to show you. The Gregorian calendar. Or? The Gregorian calendar. Get the Gregorian calendar out your mind. Okay. So Gregorian calendar, that was created by Rome. Okay? Right. And they named it by Gregory. All right? They named it after him. So the Gregorian calendar, because under them, they also say that the new year starts in the winter. But when you read through the Bible, excuse me, when you read through the Bible, the new year actually starts in the spring between March and April. You understand? So the Gregorian calendar, you can reference the Gregorian calendar for like, I don't know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Those are names that they gave them too, right? But we just had numbers. It was the first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day. Right. Right? Okay. What Rome did, they just named them. You understand? They named them. So watch this. Come on. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So the scripture says six days. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. The scripture says six days shall you do all your labor. But the seventh day is the is a what? But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt do any work. So in it thou shalt do no work. So the Lord hallowed the seventh day. And when did he hallow that? Give me Genesis chapter 2, verses 2. When did he hallow that? He hallowed that all the way from the beginning. Right. You understand? And I'm going to show you why this is very important. Genesis chapter 2 verse 2 and on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made and he rested on the seventh day so the Lord rested on the seventh day right come on from all his work which he had made and God blessed the seventh day he did what he blessed the seventh day and sanctified it and sanctified it so in order to continuously keep a Sabbath on the seventh day it has to be consecutive. Bring it out. You understand? So there must be a consecutive first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day of the week. Then you go to the seventh day, which is hollowed, and you're supposed to rest. Right. Now, if you was to base it off the new moon, it would be impossible. Because the new moon doesn't always land on a consecutive same day. Teach. You understand? For example... If you keep the Sabbath day on a Saturday from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, and then a new moon just so happens to fall on Wednesday, the, on Wednesday, the new moon is the first day, I mean, yeah, the first day of the month, right? So now you would have to start over and count from Wednesday another seven days, which will land you what? On Tuesday sundown. So now it's not a consecutive seven days. So it messes with the calendar. So although they are both Sabbaths, you cannot base it off the new moon. And first and second of all, the Lord hollowed the seventh day first. And remember, that was he hollowed that on the seventh day. But when the moon was created, when the first new moon was created on what? The fourth day. He didn't hollow the fourth day. He didn't hollow the new moon. He hollowed the seventh day. So the Sabbath day came first. We didn't celebrate the new moon until we got out of Egypt. You understand that? So in order for us to keep the Sabbath day, the new moon had to be taught to us at a later time. So it could not have been based on the new moon. Nation is men leading by example. 